it may be 43 degrees here in Adelaide, South Australia, but that's not going to stop me from recording another GarageBand Quick Jam. Let's go. In this second editing video in our series, we're going to be looking at how to access the settings for an item here in GarageBand. So for any recording we've done with a touch instrument that has MIDI note information, we can tap and hit settings and we'll get the following options. Firstly, we can adjust the velocity of notes, anything from minus 99 up to plus 99, and this will impact all of the notes in this particular item that's being played. And like most items to reset, we double tap and we'll go back to zero. We can also turn on looping, which will extend this particular part of the track all the way till the end of this particular section and unselect to turn off. You can see that some of these notes don't start right on the position that they should be, so to fix that we can use quantization. As I tap each one, you can see the notes are being moved a small amount or a large amount depending on the level of quantization. And we'll have a complete quick jam just about quantization coming up very soon. Currently our audio sounds like this. We can use the transposition function to move the sound up a number of octaves or a number of semitones. Let's take this sound down one octave. And now we'll change the pitch further by three more semitones. We can adjust the speed of the performance from a quarter all the way up to four times. And we can reverse the performance entirely. And to return our settings back to their original settings, we just tap reset all. And that's all we have time for today. I've got to get myself inside and get some water. Whew. See you next time.